In this video, we're going to look at creating rainfall data in accordance with UK practice. So in my subsurface utilities task under components, I've got an icon here for storm data. So if we click that, we can see in with the storm data dialog and the methods that we've got available. There's UK standard at the bottom. So I can either click on that and go right mouse click, new UK standard, or I can just go to the menu at the top new UK standard. I can then right click on that new item and go rename and give it a location. And then in accordance with the UK practice, I can pick my location, England and Wales or Scotland and Northern Ireland, put in my ratio R and my M560 value. As soon as I lose focus from that second panel, we can see that for a range of durations and return periods, we've got the intensities calculated right up to a 100 year uh, return period. And uh, a long duration. Now note here that the duration, the units of the duration here are being shown in minutes. If yours are set to hours and you'd prefer minutes, then you can click right mouse click on the duration heading and go to units and formatting and you can select the units for the durations there. So that's setting up a peak rainfall event for use in peak flow design and analysis. If we wanted to do a simulation, we need to use a storm profile to do that. So let's say, for example, we wanted to set up a, a rainfall event to use in a simulation analysis, and we wanted to use a 100-year, 6-hour rainfall event. Well, 6 hours is 360 minutes. So if we scroll across to the right, we can see that it's the rainfall intensity for our location here is 10.4 millimetres per hour. So we can go to time intensity, right click on there and go new time intensity. Give it a name. Then we can go to new storm event and we want to add a return event from dimensionless curve. So we click that. And the dimensionless rainfall curves libraries are opened up and UK storm profiles is in there. So from here I can pick whether I want to use the 50% summer profile or the 75% winter profile as described in the Wallingford procedure. So we'll go for the 50% summer profile. So we can give this a name, type in a return event, so we'll go for 100 years. So we're going to use a 30 minute storm, uh, sorry, a six hour storm, so that's 360 minutes. So starting at time zero, ending at 360 minutes. And from our IDF data, we know we had about 10 millimetres per hour, so in six hours we're going to have 60 millimetres. So if we OK that, then we can see the high eta graph for our summer profile 100 year six hour duration storm.